Grandmaster Nightfalls are upon us, and today I'm going to give you a new Strand Warlock build to carry you through endgame content. The full build graphic will be at the end of this video, and there's a dim link in the description. Strand has been out for a few months, and we've seen some incredible builds. Necrotic Grip, Verity's Brow, and even Nezrak Sin. However, there's room for a new Strand build. Strand is all about control. The core direction we are taking this build will be Suspend Oriented, as it provides the best crowd control in the game. Our first main source of Suspend will come from the Shackle Grenade. Simply throw it into a pack of adds and it will chain suspend targets. This is perfect for high priority targets like champions while also stunning unstoppable champions. It can also be used on dense ad packs to ensure they are locked down. We can also consume it thanks to the aspect Mind Spun Invocation. Hold to consume your Shackle Grenade and activate Weaver's Trance. Final blows while Weaver's Trance is active creates a suspending detonation. You'll want to leverage this when clearing ad waves. The closer they are together, the more suspends you will create. Since we are built around our grenade, we will leverage mods like Grenade Kickstart, Impact Induction, and Bomber. Grenade Kickstart will give us grenade energy after we use our Shackle Grenade when we have armor stacks. The more armor stacks we have, the more energy we will receive. Impact Induction gives us 20% grenade energy after we cause damage with our melee. Bomber will give us 20% grenade energy after we use our healing rift. The Fragment Thread of Generation will also be essential as any damage we do gives us grenade energy. Between the Fragment and mods, we will have very high uptime on Shackle Grenade without the need for exotics to further give us grenade energy. Now the shackle grenade isn't the only way we will be able to suspend targets. Taking the aspect the wanderer will give us a third option. Tangles that you throw attach to targets and detonate into a suspending burst. Tangles are those green glowing orbs created after killing a target affected by any strand debuff. This can only happen once every 15 seconds. Simply pick up the tangle and throw it at the next ad pack or priority target. Because this class build is very suspend focused, we want to take fragments to leverage it further. Thread of Continuity will increase the duration of all strand effects, suspend, unravel, and sever by 50%. This raises the time suspended from 8 seconds to 12 seconds. Every added second of crowd control will matter. We will also take Thread of Mind. Defeating suspended targets grants class ability energy. For miners, this will be 15% per kill. And now you might be thinking, why do we want class ability energy? Well, this leads us into the second part of this build, survivability. The Stag, a long forgotten exotic that, in all honesty, synergizes perfectly with this build. You see, standing in your healing rift will provide you with 25% damage reduction. It also stacks with woven mail, a further 60% damage reduction. This is due to the fragment Thread of Warding. Picking up an orb of power grants woven mail. Now we can abuse this resistance with further mods and fragments. We are taking mods like Bolstering Detonation, Reaper, and Powerful Attraction. Bolstering Detonation gives us 20% class ability energy anytime we cause damage with our grenade. Reaper will spawn an orb of power on our next weapon kill after using our class ability. And Powerful Attraction automatically collects nearby orbs of power when you use your class ability. Looping back to the fragment, Thread of Mind, every kill we get from suspended targets gives us 15% ability energy. When you consider the first part of this video, you begin to see how we can continuously chain crowd control and survivability. This ensures that we always have our healing rift, boosting the survivability of your fire team as you clear through the hardest content in the game. Because the stag applies 25% damage resistance to your allies as well. When we take into account other major resistances that this season provides, like 35% for art classes, you begin to see how this can be incredibly useful for Grandmaster Nightfalls. But that's only one perk of the stag exotic. Let's talk about the others. Anytime you are critically wounded, you will receive 55% class ability energy. Can't even begin to describe how clutch this is, especially with the other synergies we have to get class ability energy. You'll always have your rift, and even if you don't make it, upon death a rift will be created. This can be crucial for your fire team as they know that it provides them with added damage resistance and healing making for an easy revive opportunity. Now we have really focused this build around crowd control and survivability, but damage is important too. This will be done through our weapon loadout. Do note, you will need to adjust yours based on the content you are doing, but the staple of this damage output will be Quicksilver Storm. I don't think people give it enough credit. The grenade launcher alone puts out some serious damage for champions and adds. It also receives some bonuses with Season of the Deep's artifact mods. Strand Soldier. This will give you unraveling rounds for 8 seconds when we have the Woven Mail buff. Improved Unraveling will increase the Unraveling Thread's damage by 10% and can 
Inductive Cosmic Needle will apply a 5% increase in Arc and Void ability damage to Strand debuffed enemies. For those who might not know, Unraveling Rounds basically bounce all around from target to target dealing damage. When we look back at the Fragment Thread of Generation, all of this damage will feed into our grenade energy. For other weapon options, you might want to consider some perks like Demolitionist and Trench Barrel. The Strand Machine Gun, Circular Logic, can roll with Demolitionist further feeding into our grenade ability spam. But one other thing Demolitionist can do is reload our weapon when we use our grenade ability. This can be incredibly useful for machine guns as you never need to worry about reloading. Simply spray and throw with endless chains of suspending and heavy weapon damage. I suggested Trench Barrel as it will be rather easy to get close to champions with our suspend focus build. Trench Barrel will increase weapon damage by 50% after dealing melee damage. Simply shackle grenade, walk up, smack, and shoot. This makes for quick work of endgame champions. Grenade launchers are also incredibly useful with the weapon perk Disorienting Grenades. Simply fire into a pack of ads and they will be disoriented, causing them to stop attacking. When you pair this with the crowd control we already have, it's clear we have the toolkit to handle endgame content. But again, these are suggestions and I'm sure there are a lot more, so share down in the comments what you are using and why it is so good. At the end of the day, Quicksilver Storm will be the featured exotic weapon in most situations. It provides us with anti-barrier champion coverage in Season the Deep, unraveling rounds, and serious damage output with the grenade launcher. So let's dive into the playstyle. Your first step is situational, but it all revolves around the grenade. Throw it or consume. If there's a pack of red bar ads, look to consume. If there's a high priority target, throw. The goal is to lock down anything in front of you. If you find yourself in trouble, or know there is a tough room ahead, use distance and your healing rift to survive. The stag is here for you to play safe and ensure you survive. Leverage it. Once you get those key suspends on priority targets, like a champion, look to take it down quickly through situational judgment. Are you close enough and safe? Trench Barrel Shotgun. Are there too many adds still around? Use your Heavy or Quicksilver Storms Grenade Launcher. This build provides you with flexibility to handle any situation. Use that to your full advantage. When it comes to your stat priority, resilience, discipline, and recovery is the holy trinity today. Make sure to get tier 10 resilience. Overall, this build is just solid. You will feel like a juggernaut as you push through endgame content thanks to the stacking resistances from Woven Mail and the Stag. While it may not have the poison damage that Necrotic Grip provides, we still have strong ad clear and single target damage. The grenade energy is also incredible thanks to the fragments and mods, allowing us to skip using Verity's Brow. It just feels solid, but let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See ya!